YouTube, this is Twinkie1262 here, and today I have a video on how to downgrade any device to any firmware as long as you backed up your SHSH files. So, um, this is for Mac and Mac only. Uh, Windows video will be in the description. So, uh, let's get started. So, first, I'll uh, I'll open iTunes and show you um, my iPad is the one I'm going to be downgrading. Okay. Um, next, I am going to, um, f or you're going to want to uh, have iTunes open, and you're going to want to uh, go to. Uh, I will have a link to this in the description. It's Sim Smulatron, something like that. Anyway, I'm going to cancel it because I already have it. Um, and you're going to want to download that. It's a pretty quick download. And it is going to look like this right here. This little red thing with the leaf on it type thing. Smulatron, something like that. Anyway, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but anyway. So, next you're going to want to edit your host file. This is what's going to, this is what does not allow you to downgrade firmwares because it's set to Apple's, not, uh, and you're going to want to uh, not have it selected for Apple anymore. So, you are going to want to make sure Finder is up here. And you want to want to hit Go and select Go to Folder and type in forward slash etc forward slash and hit go or it and hit uh, go now you're going to start up here you're going to want to scroll down until you find hosts right here h-o-s-t-s -S, hosts you're going to want to right click and select open with and hit other you're going to want to scroll down until you find smooltron right here you're going to want to hit open. Okay, this is what you're going to come up with. You're going to want to type in this right here. Okay, first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want, there's going to be something right here as well. Delete that. So what you're going to want to look at is just this. You're going to want to have after the this right here and local host at the 11, you're going to want to have just a um, number or sign. You're going to want to hit return again, so you get a 12, and you're going to want to type in, let's see, I have it uh, here. This will also be in the description as well. Um, right here, 74.208.10.1. Space g e g s dot apple dot com. Okay, I'm just going to copy and paste that in there. Okay, just like that. And you're going to want to hit save. Hit authenticate. And you're going to want to type in your password. And hit enter. Okay, once that is saved, you can quit Smooltron. Okay, and you can close uh, your host file out. Now, once you have hit edited the host file, you are going to want to um, ha open iTunes, just like this. Uh, as you can see, my iPad is on 3.2.2. Um, and I'm going to restore it back to 3.2.1. So, over on my iPad here, I am going to disconnect it. It's not plugged in. I'm going to hold down the power button and turn it off. Okay, so it's off. Then you're going to want to take the uh, connector, the dock connector, and plug it back in, and right when you plug it in, you're going to want to hold down the home button, 
until Connect to iTunes comes up. Now on my uh, Mac, it's going to say iTunes has detected and whatever in recovery mode. You must restore from iTunes. your go I my Mac start will tell me that. Uh, it's going to tell you that your device needs to be restored before it can be used. That is okay. Now, as long as you have edited the host file correctly, you should be able to hold um, Option and click Restore. Now, I am going to browse for... Uh, here we go. My firmware. Now, as you can see, this is my, uh, let's see here, 3.2.1 firmware. Okay, 3.1.2. Let me uh, get my camera correctly again. Okay, and I'm going to hit choose. It's going to say iTunes will erase and restore your, I, uh, your whatever device to uh, iOS and then whatever firmware you chose and will verify the restore with Apple hit restore now this is okay because as long as you edited the host file correctly it will uh, check your SHSH files to Sakura's server instead of Apple's so you will be you should be able to downgrade just fine so it's just extracting the firmware. And just a reminder, uh links for the for uh the Windows version of uh how to downgrade your device will be in the description down there. Um so, I'm sorry that I don't have a Windows version to do, but I do not have a Windows machine. Okay. So, now you can see that my iPad is sideways. Um, let's set that up right. Okay. And it is starting the restore process. Now, wait a second here. As you can see, my iPad is restoring. I will be back uh, when the restore is over. Okay, I am back, and now it says your iPad has restored to factory settings. And, um,. So it has been my device, my iPad has been restored. And it should come up. Connect to iTunes now, of course. And iTunes should pop up. Here we go with my iPad ready to be set up. Now, as you can see, if I unlock my iPad I go into about here if I show you my version is on 3.2.1 if I hit uh, continue here okay all my settings have been restored and my iPad should pop up here in a second. Okay, and now it just said a newer version is available and I do not want to update. So as you can see, right there it's its current version is 3.2.1 thank you for watching this video um, this again will work on any device as long as you have backed up your SHSH files um, again Windows version or Windows video will be down in the description down there 
along with um, the download of uh, Simutron, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, I may not be pronouncing that right, but, um, and my Twitter will be down there as well. Uh, this is Twinkie1262. Rate, comment, subscribe. See ya.